Yo, what's up everybody and welcome to China Markets Fishing. On this outing, I'm targeting Northern Snakehead, aka China Argus, on Maryland's eastern shore. This day started just after sunrise, fished for a few hours, took a break midday, and then I came back out for the evening bite. There's a ton of really cool action and I'm really stoked to share it with you guys. So without further ado, let's get right on into it. He took that as soon as it hit the water. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Ah. That's a solid one too. Choke the acorn. Yeah, baby. Not too long, but she's thick. This is so cool, dude. Such a beautiful morning out here. Finally got the GoPro set up. I've been wanting to take fishing videos for a while now. I've been thinking about it for a while. And it feels so good to finally be able to share my adventures with everyone in a different way. It's really exciting. Yeah, just got one. I'm gonna keep trucking along and uh, see if we can pick off some more. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. Oh, nice. Dude, he hit that on the drop. It hit the water and I was like, oh, where'd my bait go? It never came back up. He hit it on the drop. Oh, that was cool. That was free. Definitely a nice one. Oh, come here, buddy. Oh, look at that. You can see the... F you can see the frog bulging out of its... out of its throat or the bottom of its mouth. Man. That size, he gave a great one. Hell yeah. work the frog for snakehead specifically super slow like there's only one spot out of I don't know how many that I go to that they like it fast <laughs> that was an unfortunate series of events
guys and gals. So I am back out on the water for the afternoon and evening bite. Same body of water. Um, so this morning, top water was pretty good up until about 9 a.m. or so. And then once the sun started to come out more, this fish just really pressed back into the deep cover. Um, all the fish that I caught came on the new orangish, pinkish acor hollow body frog. Um, so the water level has gotten a little, a little lower since I was out. So I'm hoping that will help the bite a little bit since it was so blown out with all the water being super high from all this rain that we've had. Um, but it's super windy right now. It's really protected where I'm at in this little creek, but it's not going to be that way in some other spots. So I'm going to try throwing the acor at first and either if it's too windy or they're not biting it well, I'm going to switch to uh, acor uh, soft plastic swim bait. I think it's like four and a half, five inches. Um, and then I'm going to throw around the chatter bait and uh, weighted ribbit frog. So I'll check back in with you guys. Um, Either when I have a fish or something is interesting is going on. Peace. Oh, and all of my soft plastics that I'm using, um, I have dipped in dipping glow. This is pretty faint, you can't really see it. Um, basically, it's a garlic scent and it puts a dye to your bait also. Um, say if it definitely helps if I'm getting bit because of it or not but I and mean, I will say I do get bit when I use it so every time I'm throwing soft plastics and I have the opportunity to do it I'm gonna do it just to increase my odds it means it can't hurt Getting right in the way. Ah, gotcha, buddy. Gotcha. Ah. Pretty guy. Not big, but very pretty. Not a big one, but that was pretty cool. The little guy holding down the fort on the fry box. Alright, let's get this hook out real quick. And then we'll get you back on him. Alright, that works. You made me work for it, little guy. You made me work for you. Get you right back to him. Almost there. Alright, that's good. Go get him. Fry ball. Fry ball straight ahead. I threw the frog at the fry ball multiple times, but it just wasn't making it happen. In a few seconds here, I throw the swim bait in, and chaos erupts. Oh my gosh! 
Oh my gosh, what a beast. What a beast, dude. Holy crap. Holy crap. That's a nice one. It hit it as soon as it hit the water. Wouldn't hit the frog. But threw the swim bait in. Bam. Smashed it immediately. That freaking head is. Oh yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh. Let me get a measurement and a weight. All right, honey. Let's cooperate with me a little bit. Looks like we got a PB right here, baby. 32 and three quarters. 32 and three quarters. Hell yes. She is mad. She's she is so mad. Close as I can get you. Right. One last look at her. sitting there there you go man that was a hell of a day it was definitely a grind and a half but uh that was awesome definitely think it was a very successful day for my first time filming um, breaking a PB I mean you can't ask for more than that honestly uh, but yeah I mean all fish were caught on uh, the acorn hollow body and uh, swim bait made by reactive innovations I think called the skinny dippers it was like white had a little purple in it, and then I uh, garlic dipped the uh, the tail with chartreuse uh, spike it. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was definitely a grind with the water level being so high. The tide came out a little bit, but not by much. Um, but I was really finding fish, like especially later in the day, the further I was getting back into cover where they didn't want to move out of. Um, but I mean, two fry ball fish and a bunch of other hits, but I think it was four other fish landed. Overall solid day for some pretty tough conditions. Um, but yeah, I'm stoked. I'm definitely stoked. Thank you for watching, I appreciate it. Um, and I'm definitely up for constructive criticism. Anything you have to say, I don't care, anything. Let me know, comment below. Um, but yeah, make sure to like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you next time.